హలో ఐఎమ్ డాక్టర్ సంగీత గోమ్స్ కన్సల్టెంట్ ఆబ్స్టెట్రిక్స్ గైనకాలజీ అండ్ ఇన్ఫర్టిలిటీ బెంగళూర్ ఇండియా ద మోమెంట్ ద ఉమెన్ మిసెస్ అ పీరియడ్ షీ నీడ్స్ టు డూ అ యూరిన్ ప్రెగ్నెన్సీ టెస్ట్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఇస్ పాజిటివ్ దెన్ ద నెక్స్ట్ స్టెప్ ఇస్ టు డూ ద సీరమ్ బీటా హెచ్సిజి Ideally, the beta HCG doubles every 48 hours. For example, if it's 200 today, after 48 hours, it should be 400. And once the value reaches 2,500 to 2,000, the ultrasound will show a gestational sac in the uterus. If the beta HCG is not rising as per the 48 hours rule or is just rising by 50 to 60 percent, and once the beta HCG rises to 1500 to 2000 and you do not see a gestational sac in the uterus then there comes the doubt of ectopic pregnancy so you need to do a scan to check whether there is any adnexial mass that is any mass surrounding the tubes which could be a tubal pregnancy sometimes we can see a ring gestational sac and sometimes we can also see a small a fetus with cardiac activity in it Clinical history is also very important. A woman has missed her period, the beta HCG is not rising properly, there is no gestational sac in the uterus, she gives history of pain, abdomen, nausea, vomiting, sudden fainting attacks. This could be a sign of some hemorrhage happening inside the abdomen due to the rupture of the ectopic pregnancy or the tubal pregnancy. Sometimes we see the beta HCG rises to 1500 to 200. There is no gestational sac in the uterus. Careful follow-up with serial scanning and beta HCG has to be done. Some cases, the beta HCG drops naturally and thereby whether the pregnancy is in the uterus or the tubes disappears naturally. Hence, careful follow-up is very important. The patient should be given advice of some emergency signs and symptoms where she should approach the hospital immediately like sudden fainting attacks, severe pain in the abdomen, nausea, vomiting, etc.